Hello and welcome to a little demonstration of the new configuration file for lots of modes. So what I have here is a very clean Minecraft with the only mod installed is lots of mods and then the latest version. And also Forge of course, otherwise it won't work. And when you start Minecraft Minecraft will create a configuration file for lots of mobs when you first for the first time start a new world. So now it's creating the configuration file. We're going to use oh. So as you can see now all the mobs are here. All the two in the bottom row as well as all the items and if we now go and see inside our .minecraft config folder we will see this lots of mobs.cft and if we then edit this we get the configuration file for lots of mobs. it's a quite a big file so there's a lot of things you can change um, here we'll have the ID for all the armor items. This is the ID, you can change that. These are defaults. These are the biome IDs, so if you use a more biomes mod, those might crash, so here you can change them. Here are some blocks IDs. Uh, the ice stone and the savanna grass have a little comment above, just ignore that, that's more for me inside the code. We have the dimension ID. I'm not sure if there are a lot of dimension mods out there that use the, those IDs, but you never know. Here are all the IDs for the fossils and the DNA threads, for the Easter eggs, the flowers, the food items, regular items. Uh, here are the IDs for the six mobs that you can use to make a spawn egg because they can't get a random number from Forge because then the crafting recipe for the spawn egg won't work. And finally, you have the tools. And here comes the coolest part. Um, you can see here are a is a list of all the mobs. And if you, for example, don't like the crocodile, you can just change the true to false and save it and when you then start minecraft the crocodile won't be there so you can now disable every mob that you don't like just by entering false in the configuration file I got a lot of requests on this so took a bit on copy pasting all the IDs but now it works and you I can show you the Crocodile is now gone. There is no such thing as a crocodile spawn egg anymore. So they will just disappear. And one little last thing. Be careful when you change the IDs after you have started playing a while. Because for instance if we put the ice cobblestone block here. Nice little stack of them. And we then save the world and go back to the configuration file. So the crocodile back to true, by the way. So if we then change the block ID, block, 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 for the ice cobble to, for example, 500, and you have changed the ID, so your Minecraft world won't see those cobblestone blocks. So only change the ID before you start playing so that you won't lose everything. Here you go. It's missing so you can continue loading and then they are gone. No more blocks. So be careful with ID changes while you've already been playing. 